Hello our dear friends, we are here, with an informative video, on the topic of postpartum depression. Motherhood brings about, a vortex of feelings, emotions and experiences. It is a time of celebration, love, exhaustion, and healing, but it is common for many women to feel overwhelmed by such an adjustment. In other words, the birth of a baby can trigger a jumble of powerful emotions from excitement and joy to fear and anxiety. But it can also result in something you might not expect, depression. Most new moms experience postpartum baby blues after childbirth, which commonly include mood swings, crying spells, anxiety and difficulty sleeping. So today we will talk about postpartum depression. Here to note that the terms postpartum period and postnatal period are often used interchangeably, but sometimes separately, when postpartum refers to issues pertaining to the mother and postnatal refers to those concerning the baby. What are the signs and symptoms of postnatal depression? Let's discuss. It is very important for you and your loved ones to recognize the signs and symptoms of PND so that you can access help as early as possible. The severity of PND depends on the number of symptoms, their intensity, and the extent to which they affect your day-to-day -day life. Symptoms include low mood for two weeks or more, loss of interest in yourself and your new baby, changes in appetite or weight, difficulty sleeping and feeling constantly tired, tearfulness, despair or feeling trapped in your life, lack of motivation, difficulty concentrating, feeling overwhelmed or unable to cope, feeling guilty or inadequate, feeling irritable. Withdrawing from family, friends, and social occasions. Physical signs of tension, including headaches, stomach aches or blurred vision, and Recurrent thoughts of self-harm, death, or suicide. What helps if I have postnatal depression? If you think you may be suffering from postnatal depression, there is no reason to feel guilty or ashamed. It can happen to anyone, and it is not your fault. Developing PND is outside your control, and it does not mean that you are a bad mother or that you do not love your baby. In fact, mothers with PND tend to be overwhelmed with concern about their babies and fear that they are not being a good enough mother. However, the choice to get treatment is in your control. When you are consumed with symptoms of depression, it is really difficult to look after your newborn's needs. This can disrupt the important bonding process called the attachment, which can set the stage for later difficulties in your child's life. Attachment is the most important task of infancy, hence it makes sense that your baby needs you to look after you. Considering the impact PND has on both you and your child, it is important to seek help as soon as possible. It is never too late to seek help. The help you need depends on the severity of your symptoms. Your GP, midwife, or other health professional can help to advise you around this. We will share some self-help tips with you to fight postnatal depression. The best thing to do if you have PND is to take care of yourself. The more you care for your mental and physical well-being, the better you will feel. A new study has found that having time for self at least once a week can improve a mother's mental health and reduce symptoms of PND. It is important to find the little things that work to make you feel better some of which may include self-help lifestyle changes and seeking support from others. The self-help tips for postnatal depression include Develop a support plan while you are pregnant. Identify what steps you will take in a crisis and who you can call on for support. Set aside quality time for yourself. Relax and take a break from your baby. 
Do what makes you feel good and replenishes your self-belief. Share what you are feeling with at least one other person. It can be a huge relief to tell someone and can help you make sense of everything. Lean on your partner, family, and friends. Their support will play a big part in your recovery. Let them know how you would like to be supported. Make your relationships a priority. Spending time with those you love increases your feel-good brain chemicals. Get proper sleep. Although this is difficult with a newborn, a good night's sleep can do wonders for your mood and energy levels. Make meals a priority. What you eat affects your mood. Keep blood sugar stable and ensure you are getting enough nutrients and vitamins. Get out of the house, as the fresh air will do you good. It can give you some perspective and time for your body and brain to have a breather. Ease back into exercise, as this is hugely effective in treating depression. Join a group for mothers. It is reassuring to hear that other mothers share your challenges and can be good social outlet. If you have moderate or severe PND, these tips may be useful, but are not a replacement for referral to a specialist mental health team and more intensive treatment. Common professional treatments include talking treatments, for example, cognitive behavioral therapy and interpersonal therapy, and antidepressant medication. Postpartum depression affects one in every eight to 10 women within one year or more after the birth of a newborn and can have a huge impact on well-being and her ability to bond with and care for the baby. New moms may be reluctant to tell anyone, even their physician, how bad they are feeling. They may feel that these feelings make them bad mothers. It is critical to understand that postpartum depression is not a character flaw or sign of personal weakness. It can affect any woman, regardless of her culture, age, race, or economic background. We really hope that you will like this video. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and share such informative videos with your friends as well. Thank you.